Okay, everyone, here I am. I'm back. Uh, this is ep episode three of my Let's Play uh, Pacific War. I am Gilmer, and I you might notice me constantly moving my mouse up here in the corner. And the reason that is is because if I don't, Bandicam will stop recording what I'm saying and skip or whatever. And we definitely don't want to do that. I don't know if it will keep recording if I'm just talking. So I'm a little kind of I'm a little hesitant to stop moving the mouse around but let's see let's go and do some more um, setup and this is a first term setup the last turn we saw the or the last episode we saw the Japanese attacking Manila attacking Clark Field attacking several places over here on the Singapore Peninsula and they captured Kota Baru, and they also captured Singora. And they have moved troops into Kuantan, and they actually have landed troops in Hong Kong. I don't expect it to last much longer, and actually, if um, I'm trying to pay attention, I'm actually going to create a task force here, because if I click the P, well, damn it. If I click P for Hong Kong, uh, there is a destroyer there, and we want to get it out. It is probably going to die even, so we want to at least make a, ch a, a try for it to get the hell out of Dodge. And so we are going to, damn it, set, no, set destination, and... We're going to set destination destination of Perth because it's the best angle to get it away from the Japanese. But like I said, it is probably going to get destroyed. So here we go. We're going to look for some more ports with ships in them. That oh, not you don't click the arrow button. You click next. So let's click next is okay that is a uh, Johnston Island it is okay um, is okay Brisbane okay uh, Melbourne is okay Oz okay this is not okay this island Ambon Island is in trouble we need to now let's just use the keyboard uh, shortcuts with C create cargo no and if I think if I hit P, it will do that. So there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you could use, and it's uh, pretty, uh, you know, obvious what you would want to use at certain times. So, like, if you want to create a task force, you would click C. If you want to force, you would click, you would press L. If you want, at, you don't want it to auto select, you click No. But then you could press, and it would give you the option of any of the ships in port. So let's keep going. Um, actually, I don't want to have ships in the port in Seattle because I don't think they would be used. So let's go ahead and get them. What the hell? I thought I created a task force. Let's create a task force. Uh, no. And then let's go to port. I, as I've mentioned before, I like using the mouse to do things, and also I think it keeps the recording going. Please let me know if at any time it's stopping the recording or the recording stutters or anything like that because uh, I might have to look into making sure that this um, situation is, is actually fixed or or I can set, do something with the settings in Bandicam to make it record continuously instead of on my mouse movement. So let's load fuel in the tanker. That's it. There's a tanker there. And let's then move it down to San Francisco because I think San Francisco is the base of everything just about on the west coast. It, all the 
routine convoys, I think, come out of San Francisco. I might be wrong about that. It might be Los Angeles. As you can see, Los Angeles does have one AP, which is very important. The APs are important to actually use them. APDs are not quite as important. As you can see, their capacity is only 15. And I usually put them in a troop transport task force kind of shore up every so let's say I have a bunch of APs and it only you can only load ninety eight percent. Well then the other two percent you could probably put in a stack of APDs and kind of round it out instead of doing all the splitting and dividing that I mentioned in my last episode. So let's uh do display port and let's keep going just to make sure oh okay I want to create a task force here and it's going to have the damaged ships son of a bitch what is that uh, let's get this okay um, transfer port and we're gonna take these two stacks and we're gonna try to get them out of here now they're going to be going really slow so they probably will get some damage some more damage and maybe even some ships sunk and once we get them down here we won't use them until they're actually repaired so let's keep going next port okay there is something in the port of Cebu Cebu and Bohol or however you pronounce that I'm sorry uh, what is that shit what am I doing here? Okay. Well, I thought there was something there, but obviously there's not. And there's a light cruiser in the port. I was thinking there might be a task force there. There looked like there was one there. And it's possible that could be a little bug in the system. Sometimes you'll, you'll kind of, like... That surface combat T Task Force 72, and it has a light cruiser. It's the Boise. And if I do this, sometimes see see how now I'm centered on Manila, but I still have Task Force 72 surface combat, and that's kind of a little bug that you can kind of use as a cheat. I have used that. Can use it to move supply around, and I've used that before because I thought that shit is it still working. I stopped moving the mouse, so I might that might have skipped, but I've used that little bug in areas sometimes to get supply into areas that I think the routine convoy system wasn't uh, getting supply to, and I was a little miffed at that, and this is long ago when I was a teenager, and at first this, sh this uh, program first came out, and it was just annoying to me that it wasn't getting supply in places that I thought supply should be getting to and so that's why I've used that bug in the past but I won't use it for this one because I kind of understand how the supply work system works now and I know that the system will get supply to any place that is not isolated that has land units in the base so the the trick is you have to have land units and even if it's just um, a small unit it will get uh, supplied to it that that unit needs um, I'm going to take a drink real quick and uh, try to get my dry mouth a little bit less dry because talking a lot dries me out okay sorry um, I guess the trick is Whenever I stop the mouse, I should stop talking. So it still might come across as a little choppy, but I'll try to not talk when I'm not moving the mouse. So here we go. More ports. Next, well, next port. Um, nope. Next port. There is some uh, cargo units in, cargo ships in this port and we want to use them to um, why does it keep doing that it 
and now I have okay transfer T as if, if you're on a task force and then if you hit P it'll transfer you'll you'll go into a mode where you can transfer ships to that task force and that is actually something that I cover at some point because sometimes you'll have two task task force and the way you would do that is I don't really need to do that right now so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to San Francisco with these ships and one thing or well I always say one thing and it's it's kind of annoying actually for me to do that constantly because there's obviously if I do it constantly there's more than one thing but you're moving aircraft and this is annoying to have to move this mouse constantly and one thing you want to do or another thing that you want to do is you're going to have a lot of air wings showing up in San Francisco and those air wings don't have the range to get to Honolulu or Hawaii or Oahu or whatever the hell that's called down there where we can actually click on it Pearl Harbor and so what you have to do is you have to create a well, transport or actually I want to remove that and do a cargo create cargo no and then do port and then I'm going to select a few of these and then I am going to actually load air group the F4F cannot fly to Pearl Harbor so you have to load it onto a ship and as you see the cargo says AC uh, colon T that means aircraft and then you will want to load supply because Pearl Harbor is kind of a a kind of a, a base of operations where you want as much supply as possible so if you look at Pearl Harbor its fuel is 49.995 and it supplies 5,000 you have all these ships that are actually in port a lot of them are damaged we're gonna do something about that actually as well so all you have left is a tanker airfield no real airfield I mean air wings so let's air transfer and as you can see there are two air wings in Seattle none in Los Angeles and uh, two air wings in San Diego both of these are fighter F2A Buffalo is not as good a fighter as an F4F and both of these these look like the marine these are actual marine um, air wings and uh, we'll put them on land bases I don't think that we can make them fly off of aircraft carriers it has to be naval so we will we now have four air wings sitting here and actually I probably should have let's uh let's unload and then load it again and let's do more air groups actually so let's load that with an air group oh load air group and load a third air group and that is the F2A and then let's set their destination okay we already have and their base is also Pearl Harbor and then that leaves us with uh, the PBY and the P36 the PBY I can actually do this air transfer PBY and now the PBY will fly out on anti-submarine missions in this area so next we're going to create task force here it's going to be a service combat we're going to click no and then we're going to go to the port and we're going to select all the damaged ships uh, we might not select that one actually let's remove and create service tech combat and the reason I don't want to add the West Virginia is because its speed is zero and it's a good chance it might sink anyway so we want to get any of these out of here and this might be something that I'm not as good at as some others because some others might say well yeah you want to kind of want to keep them there I don't know I don't know what the best thing is to do so I, I kind of just want to get them away and I want to get them into another port because 
I, I think that if you really want to use Pearl Harbor as a place ships to kind of, I don't know, um, that have minor damage to use it that port as the port that will fix most of your ships that are just minor damage. And um, let's see. Uh, okay, one more thing that I want to say, and it is pretty important, I think. Uh, there's cargo there. There is, okay, you get an AMC here, so let's get some more pool. So you get five of those. And what I want to do is, what's, what's, uh, so this is the 34th Infantry Division. When, um, we're going to move these up. And the reason I'm going to do that is my strong part, port, or strong place is going to be Mandalay. And when the Japanese take Rangoon, they'll try to take Mandalay, but if I have enough troops in Mandalay, I can hold Mandalay and stop them from taking any more bases this way. So I'm going to move as many uh, combat units as I can up to Mandalay and try to keep DACA uh, supply because then the supply will go overland from DACA to Enfal and Coma and then to Mandalay, hopefully, as much as possible. So what I want to do also is create uh, create a transport nope, port and I want to use up all of these just because I'm going to have them the flak the flak uh, for the combat ships are going to help us if we have any airplanes coming from the Japanese bases to attack. And then we're going to just move them here. I guess I could have actually marched those guys, but wait a minute, let's see. Uh, their readiness is 50. I probably could have marched them, but we'll just do it that way instead. And what I'm going to do is move the transfer port to Trincomalee and pick up that uh, combat force and then bring it to here. Probably more like put it in Vizagapatam. Vizagapatam. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but we'll get some units here. And another thing that I was thinking about overnight, I am going to, crap, I hope this doesn't stutter much. I am going to leave the uh, headquarters for Singapore in Singapore, and I'm going to let them actually destroy that because that is not, you know, historically they were there in Singapore and they did get destroyed and I am going to make that concession to history and let that headquarters be destroyed we've already saved um, the uh, southwest US headquarters and actually let's find something here let's find an HQ is anything else in Manila yes the Asi Asiatic fleet and so I'm going to actually uh, move that as well and I'm going to change, oops, I'm going to make this the uh, change base. And I'm going to make it the headquarters of the Asiatic Fleet. And then I'm going to relocate the Asiatic Fleet to Tonga. And I am going to do that. But I am not going to move Singapore's headquarters, the headquarter for um, headquarter Malaya. Um, I'm not going to move it, and it will be destroyed. And that's just um, something that I'm going to accept as part of the game and not be gamey about it, even though I kind of want to and save it, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, here we have something in port. This is um, an aircraft carrier. It is a very uh, primitive aircraft carrier that was uh, attached or part of the British fleet. And so let's um, create a task force. Uh, air combat, nope. Import, well, I don't know why it does that, but transfer port. And it's the CVL Hermes. And the CVL Hermes 
is just a sitting duck actually and if you let's get that and take a look it has 12 f4f wildcats and uh, 12 albacores which are I think torpedo bombers and any Japanese airplane force that match comes up against it will sink it but it's worth points so we don't want to leave it in a place that it can be attacked so I'm going to get it over here I'm not going to use it much because it is pretty much worthless I don't know what its history was in World War II I don't know if it was eventually sunk but I do know that it will get sunk if you use it in this game uh, display port let's see what that is okay we'll leave that there we'll leave that there we'll leave that there um, it's, it's Hong Kong there's nothing in that port um, we've been through there we've been through there we've been through there um, oh here we go here's some more uh, crap if you okay let's click W so this is New Zealand or Auckland New Zealand I guess that's the port in New Zealand and it has the first infantry brigade for New Zealand and you want to no, the Japanese never attack the attack this place out of out of you know, range of anything that it's not really worth anything so I'm gonna move that uh, brigade uh, up here to help uh, with the fortifications and to help fortify and make Espirito, Espirito Santo um, a little harder to take and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a transport I'm gonna click no and I'm gonna click P I'm gonna select these and then I want to load combat forces and activate load combat forces okay so it's uh, attached to the CMF I, I guess it's not gonna let me actually move those combat forces but we want that transport to help us so we're gonna bring it over here and set base here and it's going to be part of the forces that help uh, fortify Port Moresby and what is that doing it's going to Brisbane and Rockhampton okay so let's go to port next uh, nope uh, uh, well yeah create task force cargo no P transfer port there see there's a little little bugs here and there that you have to deal with um, sometimes when you create a task force it won't let you immediately start uh, putting ships into that task force even with the uh, keyboard shortcuts so here we go port next uh, okay that's Pearl Harbor all these ships what are these what are these port space so we have APs um, we really we really don't have a lot of APs so I'm just gonna leave it there for now uh, port next port create task force cargo no and I'm just gonna just transfer port and we'll set that to go to San Francisco as well I don't know if this messes up the uh, routine, routine convoy system. I hope it doesn't. I've always gotten these out of the way cargo ships into tra task forces and gotten them to San Francisco or other places. And so I use them in, in the routine sub, I mean the routine annually use them. What else? Display port. Uh, yes, I do want to get that out of there. Um, I think it's a cargo ship. And so, I'm going to transfer port. Uh, it's an 
it's a fleet oiler actually an AO I think that is a fleet oiler and we're gonna just move it down here to Pearl Harbor and then let's go back to port next port uh, that's Ducca Calcutta leaving it there leaving that leaving that leaving that so I've gone through Just making sure I've gone through everything. Dhaka, Calcutta. Okay, so we've done everything. Now let's uh, just cycle through all the airfields. That's right there. That's, um, I think, is what it's called. We'll leave that there. We want to get these out of there and in a bit of a hurry. So we can air transfer since I only have oh wait a minute that's an airfield of four so air transfer B-17 then we'll go we'll transfer the fighters to there its airfield is only a two so it cannot handle uh, B-17 but this can and so we move that there. Where did I put those airplanes? See, I, I'm, here we go. Menando. So let's air transfer those guys to there. And um, we move some of these down here and free up some air spots there and actually we're going to put some of those PBY Catalinas over here to look for subs so now this airfield has a lot of spots we move those there and we will also where did I put that B-17 there it is so we'll move that there so we have some Catalinas here. Can we change this? We can change it to. Uh, we'll just leave it as it is, I guess, for now. Um, a hawk. Change it. Nope. That's all these. Buffalo. No, I don't care. Now the P-35 I should be able to change to a P-40. Yep. And what about this guy? No, he still will stay a, B, a, a weir away. Okay. We're almost ready to run a turn, actually. I'm trying to think of anything else that I want to do. Let's see if we can't... These are activated. I wonder why they're activated, but let's see if we can't get some transports for transports for them. And I don't guess we can. Nope. So no. There's there's one actually. I wonder why it can't. So let's uh, create a transport. No. Actually let's do this and then load combat forces nope load supply yes and then we're going to move them to Pearl Harbor and the reason I'm going to do that is because when you have planes in Pearl Harbor you're going to, we're going to have a lot of planes in Pearl Harbor we actually already do have a lot of planes in Pearl Harbor. Let me change that to 40, P-40. Pearl Harbor is probably not going to come under attack ever again. I'm just being honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the air bases in this area from Palmyra to Christmas Island to Nassau 
And actually, I wonder, I used to have this set down perfect. And what I would do is I would set up kind of a relay and I would take the planes from this base to this base basically all the way around until I got them to Espirito Santo and also I'd also put some air wings in Rockhampton but mostly I wanted to get Espirito Santo up with a lot of air cover and a lot of uh, short range bombers for naval interdiction because if it ever gets attacked I want a full uh, set of air wings sitting here waiting for them but they usually don't come down this far so Espirito Santo is a place that I like to build up because the terrain is a six if the terrain is a nine you can only build the airfield up to a four but if it's in the middle it's a, ter a terrain of six you can build that airfield all the way up to a nine I think and uh, once you build this uh, up it becomes and you put some uh, combat units on here it becomes almost impregnable and once you get that built up then you don't have to worry about the Japanese coming down and taking it and so then you have you have this base to use you have this base to use and you have Port Moresby to use to start your offensive actions in this um, I don't know what they call it the Southwest Pacific maybe I don't know but it's um, in the uh, Solomon Islands, I think this whole little group of islands is considered the Solomon Islands. And you can start doing offensive operations in the Solomon Islands area and start island hopping from, really I like to go straight to Guadalcanal. And I usually go from Espirito Santo, just straight to Guadalcanal, take Guadalcanal, see it's a terrain of seven, start building it up. And then once you get a, gr a good group of air wings on here and some um, land forces and even aircraft carrier task forces, then you can start doing island hopping through here. And you get to the point where you're, you've taken all these islands and it hasn't been taken yet, but Rabaul will be under Japanese control. And you can start using all these islands to start going after a ball and taking it down eventually in 42 maybe 43 so that's uh that is it for this episode i um hope it's not too choppy uh if it is let me know and then i'll start playing with the settings again to see if i can't make it not be choppy and not just stop recording because for some reason i think it does stop recording and if I'm not moving the mouse around or maybe even talking, I don't know. So, I didn't get to run a turn this time. I think I will definitely have a chance to run a turn next time. There are no troops there, but you, as you can see, with the blue and the two combat units in the icon, that there are Japanese troops in this area next turn and take out that uh, port. So Bangkok is gone next turn probably. And let's see. And I still have this uh, land unit sitting in Kuantan. Its readiness is 31. I can't move it if its readiness is 31. There's nothing in Jitra or Hitra. Uh, let's see. Yes, there's plenty of stuff in Kuala Lumpur. Lumpur. And... I'm going to start taking them down to Singapore and hold Singapore as long as I can. I probably will not be able to keep it, though. Next episode, we will run a turn because I am very much ready to run a turn. And so once these aircraft carriers get here, this one and this one actually get to Johnson Island, I will create a task force with two aircraft carriers and commanded by William Halsey, uh, who is a very good aircraft carrier rated uh, admiral. And so we'll put them under his command and then this aircraft carrier task force will hopefully get to Christmas Island fairly soon. And then we can start moving our uh, offensive task forces down here and start doing some operations so anyway 
That's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.